everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Simply Jessica here today with a DIY and it, this is going to be <laughs> so simple but in my mind going to be so so cute. So we are just going to do this and you guys are going to see just how simple and easy it is to make some really cute like wall hanging, this is gonna be a wall hanging thing, but just like cute little decor. This is gonna go for our bathroom, and I'm super excited. And like I said a million times, you guys know, and don't mind all the paint, I forgot to clean that up the other day, but um, <laughs> you guys know, the simple ways to do things, the best way for me, and it's gonna be great. So what we are going to need is just three of these picture frames that I got from the Dollar Tree. They are four by four. It just says special moments, memories, collection, photo frame. So this is what they look like. And I got three of those. So we are just going to open those up. We'll just do one at a time here. Take the back off and take off the front. And we're just gonna take apart the two pieces of glass here and remove the little picture they have in here, which of course is gonna leave us some stickiness. So we are just going to scrape that right off of there. I was hoping that came off a little easier, but it didn't, but it's gonna be okay because we're gonna go right over top of it. So it's not even going to matter. And then I have one of these right here, the Wall Creations Peel and Stick Wallpaper. This is the one I'm gonna be using. So it's the white background with like kind of the sh uh, silver shiny lines in the background here. And we are just going to trace our piece of glass back here. And it does go all the way to the side. So we could just go right here to the corners. And we are just going to trace our piece of glass. And we are just going to cut that right out. like that. So it's going to, and it does have these little things on the back here, this like uh, line right here. So you could just kind of do that so it comes off easier. So we are just going to take that off and we are going to just lay that right on top of our glass here. Peel off the other side and just push this down as we go across. Simple, right? And that is seriously all there's going to be to this part. So we have our background. And guys, I tell you, you're going to laugh because this is so easy and so quick, but it's going to be so stinking cute. Now, Main Street Wall Creations, again, and these are translucent um, stickers here. These say, always wash your hands, flush the toilet, close the lid, floss and brush your teeth. So we are just going to peel off the top one. And it is, ooh, I didn't want to stick it already. So we're just gonna guesstimate here for the center. And we are just, oop, I wanna move that a little bit. Going to lay that right down. Right on top there. So you have your first one right here. Always wash your hands. And that is that, okay? So simple and so easy. <laughs> Excuse me. And now we are just going to open the next two. Oh, geez, I 
was the hardest part, I think. Open the next two and do the exact same steps here. So we're just going to, well, maybe we should put the other one back together first. So it's out of our way. So we're going to take that, we're going to add our glass back to the front of it here and stick this right back into our frame like so. And then stick our back right back on there just like so and close the little hinges here. Just like that. So that is going to be the top piece. Now, I like the little flair that it gives with the lines in the background and I know that some people may not like the fact that you can see the lines through the words or whatever. So when you are choosing your background, if you want to just do a solid color, so maybe these stick out a little bit more for you, that's perfect. I just think it gives it a little bit more character, so that's why I went with this one. So that is our top piece. And then we just move right along and do the same thing with our next two frames here. So just pulling that backing off, measuring it up here, trying to figure out the best place to go for this so we can get another one on here. We may end up having to add a little piece. Okay, that is perfectly fine as well. Yeah, because it's not going to be It'll work out perfect. Perfectly fine. So we're just going to line that up right here. Go across, just measuring that out. And then just cutting. So thankfully, um, there will be a little bit here where <clears throat> we're going to have to put a piece on and then add a little bit of a piece. But if you line it up good, you won't even notice. So again, just cutting that right out of our tracing. Bringing our glass back over. Now this one I didn't cut where the uh, perforated, wow, perforated line is. So it's just going to take me a second to get this to come apart, but here we go. So we want to make sure that our lines are going up and down like in the other one. And we're just going to line this up the best that we can. But again, you know it doesn't need to be perfect because it does go back inside of the frame and you don't see the edges. But just laying that right down. And then grabbing our second sticker, pulling that off, and right down. It's creating a little bubble. Hold on. There we go. Making sure we get it nice and flat. No air bubbles here. Perfect. And then we just take our other piece of glass, go right back over top, back into our frame, and then our top going back on. And you can see this is literally taking just minutes, right? just like that. And then we do the last one. And again, so we're probably, oh, we're probably just going to have to cut two pieces here and put them together. But we won't even notice. So again, just separating. Much. 
we're going to need here. I'm actually going to go closer to the center because when you cover it with the sticker, you're not going to really see it too much. So we are actually going to just cut right across towards the center because like I said when we put the sticker on you're not going to be able to even tell that it's two separate pieces so right down it's going to go and then we'll take our second piece and what we're going to do is just cut a pretty straight line here and then just line it up we're going to even maybe possibly overlap a little tiny bit there and we're going to finish covering this again it's a little bit more difficult when you don't have <laughs> the help there where they already have it cut but it only takes a second here you kind of just bend that maybe there we go oh nope i thought we had it it's these darn nails too they sure don't help Oh my heavens. See, sometimes it could just be a pain, but we will get it. Okay, so we're just gonna peel that off. And now we're gonna use this side. And I'm just gonna overlap a tiny bit So we can't really notice the difference and then right down we go and we're just gonna flip it over here and cut right around the the glass here just so it fits and we'll just cut that excess stuff right off of there flying. <laughs> I know this one's been looking because it's getting stuck on there. All right. I'm just going to fold it over because it's going to drive me cuckoo. Okay. So there is our background. And then our final little sticker here, peel that right off. And kind of find our center. And then right down, there it goes. And then our picture frame, our glass, and then right back together we go. And there is your third one. Now again, I can see it pretty well. I know that this won't be um, everybody's style. Again, it'd probably be easier. They will stand out more if you do more of a flat, plain background. But again, this is just more my style, but I think it's really cute. So the back's coming off, Put that back. And the last thing that we're going to do here is we are just going to attach them like this. And we are going to just be using some ribbon. And I got this stitch ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Everything's from the Dollar Tree, but I know I hauled this not that long ago. So just a little bit of the silver and white to go along with, well, the gray and white to go along with the background of these. So we don't want it to be too far apart. We literally are only going to need, let's see. Oops, wrong one. 
it's going to be separated by one inch. So we are going to take our two here, right upside down, I'm going to just measure them apart at one inch. And we're going to just take our ribbon here and just cut a piece. Okay, so now that we have our little pieces here of our ribbon, now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to hot glue these on. I don't know how well hot glue is going to hold this, to be honest to you. So I would um, suggest using a sturdier glue or a more, you know, a glue that's going to hold a little bit better. But <clears throat> I did, I don't know if E6000 would have worked. I don't know. But I'm just for demonstration purposes for today until I uh, get something else to kind of hold it better. I'm just going to use the hot glue just so we have an idea here. Of how it's gonna look and we are just going to stick that right on there and let that cool and we're gonna add some glue to this side and take our ribbon do the same thing and then let that cool two up from down here another inch apart from the next one just like so and just cut two more pieces of our ribbon here and hot glue those down as well so just some here and down below. And let that cool. I'm trying to get all of our little glue webs out of there. <laughs> okay. I was even, uh, even thinking like using the staple gun to hold the ribbon in place you can see it right here I did try it it is not working that won't work so again we're gonna hold this together with the hot glue if it doesn't seem to be strong enough then we will get some better glue to hold these together and then they see they're gonna be together all of them are connected now Sorry for the noise. I'm just gonna spin it around here. And we are just going to make our little um, thing like this so we can hang it. Did I make it big enough? Or maybe a little bit bigger, I apologize. So the ribbon that I cut for in between here is about two inches. This one we're gonna do say about five. And then we're just going to attach it here, flip it over and attach it there so we can hang it. Some right here, some right here. I'm not even in the camera. <laughs> so I'm just gonna stick that there, flip it around, and stick on that side. And here's probably the silliest thing that I just did. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so funny when you are doing something and you just happen to like realize you did something that made absolutely no sense right <laughs> but I'm not even gonna edit that out because it's funny and it's a learning experience it is what it is so we don't need this here and I'm hoping this comes off pretty easy <laughs> oh for the love of Jesus and all that is holy um it has 
the thing here to hang on a nail, right? Um, <laughs> whew, okay. As I said, I crack up when I do things like that. I don't even care. Like, I'm not going to hide it from you guys, you know? I, I'm obviously not perfect. So that is just too funny. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, all in all, it is now together. Just get the dirt off here. Um, I am going to go hang this. And I will show you what it looks like hanging on the wall. Okay, guys, so there it is hanging up. I think it's super cute, right? So you have all three of them. They are attached nicely with the ribbon. It actually doesn't seem like it might be an issue here with the hot glue, so that's very good. And it did not take long whatsoever, as you can tell. So again, if you want to not have that type of a background, please feel free to change it up to your style, your flavor, but these bathrooms have different colors, you know. <laughs> So you can match the background to your, you know, bathroom towels or whatever it is. The other thing I like about this project is you don't have to have it hanging long ways like this. You can obviously attach going um, horizontal, vertical, holy crap, vertical, horizontal, both ways. <laughs> oh my goodness. But I think this is so stinking cute and it does not take much at all. It is so cost efficient. They're doesn't cost much to make this at all. I just think that it is super, super cute. I love this. It's going to be hanging there for a while. So <laughs> I hope you guys do too. I will be coming out this week with a couple DIYs. This obviously being one of them. There may be one or two more and definitely one, maybe two more this week plus shopping hauls. So you guys keep your eye out for those videos. And until next time, bye now.